well. So we're here in Toastmasters not just for ourselves, not just to get power to work ourselves, we want to work together. And I had some new words from somebody else who would like to read us. Sarah? Sarah? <laughs> so this is yes, one of the secrets of happiness. Oh, this is value is about uh, leading to the Toastmasters. <laughs> yes. See? Give us the motivation. Happiness consists consist in giving and in serving others. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Giving and serving. Sure, like <laughs> 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 yes. 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 And we had some, some similar words as well from Victor Reeds. Like Cookies. Yeah. Uh, the way to be happy is to make wow. others so. so that's it. Oh, that's that's so so the way to be happy is. So happy. Thank you very much. So Just surround yourself with happy people and help others be happy. <laughs> so we're starting to get a bit closer to what. Toastmasters do. We all work together to rise up together. So that's where our motivation comes from. We want to be, we want to work towards being happy together. So what do we do? What do we do? How do we do that? What actions? What actions do we take? Be happy in ourselves, to help others be happy. So who's not read out yet? Okay, okay. I'll come to you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Action. Happiness comes from the joy of these. Well, well done. done. Yes. Joy of so this these. Is well done. Happiness comes from the joy of these. Well done. And Tony the sink. Who is here? Yes. Do you know this little character, the little prince? Have you read the book? Oh, the Little Prince? Oh. Yes, so this is the author. This is the person who wrote The Little Prince. Oh. So happiness comes from doing things well. Doing things well together. And that's, again, what we want to do here. We want to we come to have a good time. We'll be good to, we come to, to learn and to grow. And to do our speeches the best we can. Do our evaluations the best we can. That's how we can be happy. So is that how you do your work? You do the best you can at work, or do you wait until? <laughs> 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 so we start to think a little bit. This is one way we can work towards being happy, doing our best, mm. working towards being the best we can be, and helping others see the best we can be. Okay, so on the other side, on the other side. Oh. Actions. The happiness of most people is ruined by the repetition of slowly destructive little things. Yes. Wow. So what does yes. So what does this mean? The happiness. Destruction. Mm -hmm. Not a word that we come across in Toastmasters, but do we come across it at work? Yes. Destruction, I would say, is similar to criticism. Okay. So when your boss, when you talk with your boss, do you always worry there's going to be some criticism? Mm -hmm. Yes. I think for... We won't go into that in too much detail. Right? But for me, in my office, so I'm the, the, the operations manager for my company, and I have a general manager above me. I would say she is a very general manager. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Not too specific in terms of looking at the overall, but not really knowing so much about the detail. And maybe you have a similar boss. You may have certain preconceptions. And whenever you get in some work, you know something is going to be criticized. 
someday is going to, she's going to say, oh, why don't you do it this way? This should be the better. This white color is not white enough. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they are related. So does that make us happy in our work? Does that create an environment of wanting to be successful, wanting to do our best when we know whatever we do is criticized? So I think how that works in Toastmasters. Do we, do we try to destroy each other? Or do we try to build each other up? Yes. So we think about, there's a very good phrase, the positive, positive evaluation. So we give each other feedback, areas of improvement, but in a positive way. So I think it's a positive way of avoiding destruction, avoiding being destructive. It's a step towards mm -hmm. creating that happy atmosphere together that sometimes seems to be lacking in our office life. So we have our actions, we know what we want to do. We want to do things together, we want to be positive together. So what techniques? How do we specifically do that? Mm -hmm. Techniques, who would like to do that? Yes, oh, yes. Really? Yes. Okay. oh, very appropriate, I think. Kiss. Happiness is like a kiss. You must share it to <laughs> enjoy it. Thank you very much. So we go back again to sharing. So <laughs> romantic. So again, just sharing. In Toastmasters, we don't just try to push for ourselves, try to get that personal power, personal money. There's no money in it. We share what we have, we share our experiences, we share our successes, we share our challenges. So that's how we can, again, step further towards being happy. So we might need to double up. Has anyone not read anything? Or will we start again? <laughs> oh, okay, oh, okay, oh, Eva. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, I think this is also appropriate for you. Oh, <laughs> not that one. Not that one. What's that? What's that? Neil. 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 Neil Ross. Happiness comes only when we push our brains and heart to the farthest we are capable. Oh. 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 To the farthest. That's great. Yeah. Excellent. So do you do that at work? Excellent. Do you push yourself as far as you can? Why do you do that at work? <laughs> 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 Why do you do that at work? Why do you do that at work? Why do you do that at work? So it is something we very much do in Toastmasters. We try to step outside our comfort zone. We can take risks. We can do things we wouldn't normally do. Last year, I'm not sure if you came to the. Did anyone come to the, the Juhai conference? Yes. 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 So I was lucky enough, I guess, to take part in the the, the contest. Yes. The most contests did okay. I think. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> And I think some of the comments are right. You look so different on the stage. You're a different person in the, in the contest. You come across. People say, I oh, normally imagine you're so boring. <laughs> <laughs> but here on the stage, there's so many different. That's what we can do in Toastmasters. We can push ourselves beyond the persons we normally are. But at work, in the office, if we have that destruction, that negativity, that each person for themselves, it's very difficult. I think this is how we succeed. I think if we're able to do this in a business context, or how much the company might be able to grow, how much our profits, how much our success. So being able to push yourself, being in a position to want to push yourself and to really take that effort, pushes us again towards success and happiness. And who's next? Okay. Wow. Right. No one can be. 
<laughs> no one can be happy who feels fulfilled to take up the challenge of life. Oh, okay. I'm not to take up the challenge of life. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we all like to take up challenges. Sure. Sure. <laughs> yeah. And it's through it's through challenges that we feel fulfilled. Do people have like to take challenges at work? Don't keep your head down. Mm -hmm. Everyone notices. <laughs> Just do your work. No challenge, please. <laughs> but then that's where we're challenged for success. And finally, for the, the techniques. Dale Carnegie. Who wants to be Dale Carnegie? Oh, Dale Carnegie. Dale Carnegie. <laughs> Happiness doesn't depend on any external conditions. It is governed by our mental attitude. Mm. Mental attitude. Mm. So, yes. they all come so just at the beginning, it's, yeah. it's wanting to be. Wanting to be successful, wanting to be happy. That's how we do it. So if we try to take on board these different mm. techniques using this these uh, motivation and we take these actions, how does it affect our thinking? That's what we want to do. We want to change the way we think, try to change the way our colleagues think at work. And so, who's Grace. next? Grace. Grace. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. I am doing it. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, that is Deepak Chopra. Deepak Chopra. Okay, please. Thinking, research has shown that the best way to be happy is to make every day happy. Oh, So it becomes a state of mind. When you want to be happy, when you work to be happy, you say, this is going to be a happy day. And every day is going to be a happy day. And it will be. The power of positive thinking becomes a circle. And this is how we approach Toastmasters. We come to the meetings wanting to have a good time, wanting to be happy, mm -hmm. wanting to push ourselves to be successful. So do you think how wonderful the world would be if this was a feeling you had every morning when you went to work? Wanting to be happy at work. It sounds tough, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it sounds tough. Maybe we should form a Toastmasters company so we all work together. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this is what Angela does here. Yeah. 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 So that's why Angela is so happy. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, and so finally, yes, we come back to yes, success. Working with our, changing our thoughts, coming back to your success. Maxwell? Yes! Yeah. Success. I want to be success. Okay. <laughs> success is not a money. It's not a way. It's not celebrity. My index of success is happiness. The per. The rascal. Uh, but I, but I don't like it. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> So it's happiness. Happiness is where you can find Okay, so how can we do this in Toastmasters? How, we, how can we use the skills? What are the skills that we learn here that we can take out into our wider working life? So I shall need how many volunteers for this one? I shall need one, two, three. Three volunteers to come out. One, two, three. Okay. So thinking about this, key Toastmasters skills. Right as well. And so these are these are the key Toastmasters, these are the key wow. skills that we learn. <laughs> so these are the these are the key skills that we learn in Toastmasters that we can really think about using in the outside world. So we think about this communication. How we communicate in Toastmasters. Let's try to use that that type of communication at work to be engaging, to be concise, 
How many meetings do you go to that last 